podcast. Welcome to Previously Recorded. I am your host, RP, as always. And this episode of Previously Recorded is brought to you by Monarch. Uh, yeah, those fucks are behind everything. Who the fuck's what do you mean? Monarch? We're talking about Godzilla vs. Kong. You don't know who fucking Monarch is? <laughs> no, oh, oh, we're actually fucking crediting <laughs> yeah. this fake thing? Yeah, we're, cre- we're crediting this fake thing, yes. Oh, okay, I love it, I love it. Uh, I just forgot what we that's were talking a, about. That's a, bad, that's a bad look if we're like, oh, what the fuck is Monarch? We're about to talk about <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I I thought Monarch was a real company, and I was like, oh wait, wait, what's Monarch? I haven't got their T-shirt yet. <laughs> As you can hear, those are my amazing co-hosts, Bob and Shane. What's up, gentlemen? Hey, what's up? Uh, Enjoy this hello, hello, hello. beautiful Saturday. Not consuming any libations at all. No, all the libations have been consumed <laughs> on my part. All right, yeah, as you can, this is definitely going to be a different episode of Previously Recorded. where Bob's the drunk. Are not it's gonna, not a big deal. Bob's drunk. It's not a big deal. It's Let's not going out be. there to begin with. Bob's drunk. He, he set a time. He was actually va- very available at, that, at said time. He, um, he but he's it, drunk. Hey, Bob's drunk. It's not a big deal. Typically, <laughs> the way these episodes go, we, we somewhat sometimes get drunk yeah. during them. Bob just came Dude. prepared. For one, Bob came man. prepared and was just drunk beforehand. Yeah, Bob's usually drunk. Halfway, halfway through the episode, I get hammered. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, Bob's, we have the occasional Bob's, episode where Bob comes hammered. Bob's yeah. drunk. Bob's drunk. It's so we're welcome. We're introducing our very first Patreon episode. Hey, this Belgium. Hey, Belgium listener. This is what you're going to deal with if you don't fucking expose yourself. <laughs> He's, uh, I'm, a, still I'm an angry drunk. <laughs> he or she is still around. Um, yeah, you're right. You're right. He or she. Anyway, let's cut to the brass tacks, gentlemen. We are here to discuss the MonsterVerse, especially Godzilla vs. Kong. I thought of a joke today, and I was going to... Get, I want it. I want to hear. It. Oh, okay. So you know, today I watched um, Mortal Kombat. Bob, have you seen Mortal Kombat? I, I have. Shane, you have, you've watched. I was going to say, yes? if you didn't have HBO Max, you can get over here and watch it over here if you want it. Is that a big Mortal Kombat line? Yeah, get over here. It's Scorpion's Scorpion. thing. Do they say it more than once, or not? Like uh, spoilers, spoilers. spoilers. Oh, hold on, spoiler. Mortal Kombat. I have not watched. I will watch within the next two couple of days. That was the joke, though. I thought do I forgot they, it, and they, then I remember. Do it. they drop like the yes. old? School? They all say their catchphrases, oh. which we will talk about. Which we will talk I am about. So excited for this movie. <laughs> which we will talk about in full detail in natural, previously recorded uh, fashion in a few weeks. We're bringing you this uh, discussion of the MonsterVerse and Godzilla vs Kong, basically a month later after the movie came out. Um, so, yeah, in previously recorded fashion, we talk about the thing way after it happens. So, um, we're, we are, if for anybody that's like has an issue with that, our name is previously recorded. Like, that's true. Fuck off. Like, our whole bit is that we're behind the times. That is true. That's every time we try and we're like, all right, let's do an episode on The Voice. Uh, oh, yeah, we're going to do this like, as it comes through. out. I'm like, yeah, no, we're previously recorded. Yeah. yeah. Um, so anyway, let's just talk about Godzilla vs. Kong and, and the MonsterVerse as a whole. We kind of – the only reason – my plan was to just watch this movie because I seen Kong, uh, Skull Island. I saw it when it came out. Um, RP, did we see that together? No. Uh, you saw – I saw it uh, at home. And, uh, I saw I remember, in theaters. For sure I saw it in theaters. I didn't yeah, because you, you walked into not. the comic book store after seeing it and said how, how good it was. Um, so wow. I don't know. Love. So I watched it when it came out. Um, but anyway, I, I was going to just watch, you know, the last previous previous Godzilla, just to be like, all right, what, like, whatever. Uh, but after speaking with Bob, went on this whole thing of watching them all, just to kind of once a day over his spring break to kind of keep I, it busy. I uh, had so not, this, is, this episode's your fault. I'll just put it that way. It's abs- absolutely, fault. it's my fault. I had not seen any of the Godzillas. Yeah. Uh, Shane, had you seen them with prior? No, I only saw Kong uh, Skull Island. I, I watched Kong Skull Island in theaters. I saw Godzilla with Matthew Broderick. 
feel like we're that's not talking. About it. We're, we're not exactly. talking. Exactly. <laughs> that that shit's out. Yeah. Was- we're talking strictly uh, Godzilla. What is it? 2014. Is that when that was? It was right before. It might be 16, but around that time. Yeah. Till up to the present. So any MonsterVerse movie. The prior to this, because they re, they exist. re they they they, re- they rebooted. Made, they wanted to make a monster verse. They did that original Godzilla and Kong Skull Island to make. Yeah, which I did not realize at the time uh, when we saw Kong. I was like, oh, that's cool, but I, I thought they were owned by different companies. No, but they were. They Same wanted company. to make. They wanted to build to this. Yeah. Um. So what drew you in? What was it? Just that. You I don't like Godzilla. Kong. I don't like Godzilla. Yeah, uh, personally, I don't either. Yeah, but it was kind of boring. Yeah, did, so, I did. I did like the original Godzilla. I didn't like it for Brian Cranston, and if you're going uh, into it for Brian Cranston, spoiler alert, you're wrong. Yeah, he, he dies about forty-five minutes. Later. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the funniest text like <laughs> exchanges because you guys were like. Hey, are you at the forty-five minute mark? <laughs> and 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 RP was like, "No, I'm not there yet." And she was like, "Well, tell me when you're at the forty-five minute mark." And, and I did. I also didn't know that, but also I didn't give a fuck about Brian Cranston. I did. I, I liked him. He was the. Part I like Brian Cranston, but like, if Brian Cranston would have drawn me into that movie, I would have seen it when it came out. You know what I mean? Yeah, I guess that's true. Uh, but anyway, we're talking about it like now, like why I why I went back because we were I, w- I was sitting there and I put on two, Godzilla two and I was like, ah, you know what? Let me go back and watch it because Bob had watched it and said he enjoyed it, um, and that's kind of why I-, I wanted to see God ver- Godzilla vs Kong, but I wasn't super hyped for it. And then you kind of just did this thing of rewatching where Shane also rewatched, yeah. and um, it was kind of just like a thing we all ended up doing. Uh, Shane, had you had you watched the original Godzilla prior to this? What do you mean by the original Godzilla? Like, like we're the, talking about the not, two, the, not, the, the, not the 1956 Godzilla, yeah. like the actual, like like the, the Brian Cranston, the Brian Cranston one. Well, I saw the Brian. No, I didn't see the Brian Cranston one. I saw the Matthew Broderick one. All right, we need to do Kong this. Was. Hold on, Shane. Yeah, that one's. I'm just saying that one's out. Because when Bob, Bob says Brian original, Kong. he means. Uh, Brian Cranston. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> you guys remember another movie that absolutely stunk? You remember the King Kong movie with Jack Black in it? Somebody brought that up to me earlier. And I said, I'd like to disregard. I saw, <laughs> I never good. saw that one. Um, no? No, I don't. Dude, don't. Naomi, Naomi Watts is fucking in King Kong's hand. It's fucking awful. Yeah. I don't, I don't care about these movies. Like I don't care about the monsters. I just don't, and I that's realized, why I was shocked. Why I actually like these. I thought I they were real, good. I realized when I when I saw Kong Skull Island mm-hmm. in theaters that I did care. You know what I mean? Like I didn't think I cared, and then I saw that in theaters. And Kong Skull Island is a really good film. Yeah, no, it's, it's good not film. a it's not a good movie. It's not a good action movie. It's a really good film. Oscar worthy? Uh, they got snubbed that year, I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, but so Mike. that's what that this. So what basically, just to kind of get into it, and I don't mean to cut you off, Bob, but what drew you in is that Kong kind of drew you in, and then we were like, hey, you know what? This this Kong versus Skull or um Kong versus Godzilla is coming up. I want to know what's going on. I want to know everything about exactly. it. Exactly. Let me. Let me watch all of them. And that's kind of what we all did. What honestly drew me in, to be 100% honest, Kong Skull Island had a good play in it. I didn't know shit about Godzilla other than when Ferris Bueller went to fucking New York and then Godzilla shows up. And that's, I'm pretty sure it's the basic plot of that movie in 2000. But Kong in Universal Studios. Which I think RP, you've been to that ride, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the where uh, he like fucking it's you're on like the the it, it's gone. It's it they they got rid of it. There's a new there's a new. I ride, think it, I think there. it's I think it's now the Fast and Furious ride. No, so it's still there in Universal Studios. It's a new one. It's it's called 
it's something Skull Island and Kong. I don't know. No, but the old is. Kong ride is either Fast yes, and Furious or it might Kong be the, the Mummy. Top. Is the Mummy still a ride? I there? think they talked about the, They actually talked about this on podcast the ride. I believe it is the Mummy ride. It's the Mummy, the mummy ride, ride used to be Kong. It's called yeah. It was called Kong Confrontation, right? Yes. Yeah. And that as a child, because we went to Universal like every two years, whatever it was. You would be in like a San Francisco like traffic car, like on the fucking like. Yep. You're hanging. It was, suspended, it was supposed right? to. Be, it never made any sense to me. But it was supposed to be like San Francisco traffic car. But I don't know what the fuck was going on. But you were in the air, and then Kong would swipe at you. Blah blah blah. So Kong has always been, for me, I never watched it. Like, have you? So have you always kind of wished you were Naomi Watts in Kong's hand? I always wanted to be fucked by a monkey. <laughs> is what it comes down to. Yeah. Wow, that shit is bananas. Um, <laughs> uh, no, but like that's what it was. Like for me, like when the Jack Jack Black Naomi Watts movie came out. That th- apparently that movie was three hours too. Yeah. I've watched it. It's Peter Jackson. Yeah, so it's a three-hour mandate. Like mandate, it has yeah, to be. Yeah, and everybody is waiting for like the one ring to rule them all, and it never showed up. And like, <laughs> where's Spiegel? What's going on? Um. So, yeah, I, I, Shane. What about you? Like, did you? Did, I felt like for whatever reason, I have this feeling that you were more of a Godzilla person than Kong. No, not at all. You're always Kong. No, God, no one. No one is a Godzilla guy. Godzilla's kind of boring, like Big Lizard, whatever. So um, I don't know if this. Oh, sorry, Shane. Go ahead. No, it's. Just, I don't know. Ken, Ken Kong just seems more more interesting to me. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I, Godzilla just kind of, seems kind of he's he's big and slow and. So whatever. I don't know if this is how it's always been, but the way that they portray Godzilla as a hero in the first Godzilla, uh, mm-hmm. with with Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. Uh, I liked that actually. I, yeah, uh, I was waiting for Cap to show up, but he wasn't there. Super weird that they were like making out. It was weird. It and didn't bother me at all. She needed to be more in that movie than him. I could care less about Aaron Taylor Johnson. Here's the in thing, that though. Movie. But here's the thing, and this is what I said to you guys. When we, like, so they watched it probably about a week after I did. Right? I looked at the dates and like. He was the bigger star at that point. Yeah, he'd done kick ass. Um, you know, Elizabeth Olsen was just starting. And then Brian Cranston was kind of the big draw because we watched this after, after the fucking like, show that was uh, WandaVision, like, WandaVision. WandaVision. So we she after WandaVision. Yeah, so Elizabeth Olsen has done a lot of little stuff. And still to this day, I mean, even Marvel is her biggest thing. Uh, but back then, even Aaron Taylor Johnson, like that's why they heavily. That's why we were, me and Shane were like, "What the fuck?" When Brian Cranston wasn't in it for the whole movie because they advertised the fucking shit out of it with him. In every trailer, yeah, My every trailer because he was the big draw. Fuck. He was the draw. I didn't give a fuck about Brian Cranston. I did. I liked his his side of the story. While he seemed crazy, but you know he was still. Actually but I went in, and this is probably me, and also. We're fucking, what, seven years behind the snide? You know what I mean? Like, we're fucking way behind the situation. Well, th- no one knows when the movie came out, so I... 2014, <laughs> I looked it up. It, I, 2014, it actually came out. <laughs> 2014, oh, okay. We're seven years late to this yeah. whole fucking party. So I was like, I just want to fucking be interested. You know what I mean? And also, I didn't like Godzilla. Yeah, I, so have did we all come out of that movie liking Godzilla? The way that they, they did it and had him attack those monsters, I actually the first really film, liked. film, I liked Godzilla a lot. Yeah. But Shane, what were your thoughts on the first movie? I actually, I, I did like how they, they made him out to be the hero. Mm-hmm. And then, Again. like, as I'm watching the movie, I'm like, how are they going to turn this into them fighting? Because they're both the hero in their own movies. Right, exactly, and why again to to fans of Kong or Godzilla out there, got the, to fans of Godzilla out there, uh, if this is how he always has been, uh, I just don't know that. So to me, this is always presented as Godzilla was attacking you, know, Godzilla, Godzilla, run! Um, yeah, but no, I knew I knew that Godzilla was not the villain. I knew that because I mean, you have Mothra and all the other ones that he fights. So like, you got so his- that's where Godzilla oh, like, Mothra, monsters. Mothra, he fucks, mm. not fights. 
Yeah, but that's another conversation. Yeah, which I think we wait. Yeah, I, I think that conversation, Bob. We might need you to 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 drink during, not prior. <laughs> for <laughs> I'll I'll take shots every yeah. time we say are they gonna fuck or not. Um, but here's the here's my thing about the original Godzilla, like not the original, but the 2014 Godzilla. Ken Watanabe, who is I forget actually what his name is. Like the main Asian doctor? Yes. Uh, yeah, Sh- Shirazawa. Isn't that what it is? He's the most important character in this entire fucking sequence, yeah. in my opinion. Is it Dr. Shirazawa? It's not Shirazawa, though. and I- it's, it's, it's Ishiro Serizawa. Ichiro Sawa, Serizawa. Ichiro it's Suzuki? Serizawa. Serizawa. It's, okay, Ichiro, it's Ichiro Suzuki. Suzuki. Yes. Sarazawa, yeah. All right, he, uh, so hits a triple in Wat- the movie. Yeah, yeah. He really fucking pulls the ball down the yeah. line. Ken Watanabe plays Doctor Sarazawa, Ichiro Sarazawa, but he is the only one that matters. Uh, I would agree. I liked his partner too. That got completely spoiler alert eaten in Godzilla King of Monsters. Uh, which we can, I feel like we should probably jump to King. No, of we're Monsters. all together. We're all together. This is a, this is not movie by movie. No, but um, because I, I want to build up to get to Godzilla vs Kong. Um, personally, I didn't hate that movie, but I also didn't really care for it. Um, I just the original Godzilla. No, no, uh, King of Monsters. I actually very much liked Godzilla. The 2014 Godzilla did not give a fuck when. Brian Cranston died. It didn't bother me at all. I was invested in what was going on with Aaron Taylor Johnson. It didn't fuck me up as much as it fucked you guys up that like it was him and it didn't fuck me up. I was just I was surprised. It was in your head though. You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, that's like his sister, or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Oh, 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 oh. I thought yeah, yeah. With that Elizabeth really Olsen. was just it was just like, oh, that's strange that they were yeah, exactly. in this movie fucking and then in the next movie hugging uh, I, the same year. I knew that that had happened, so it didn't bother me as much. I was very invested in the human element of the original Godzilla. Yeah, I didn't care. In the second Godzilla, I didn't necessarily care about the human story either. The first one, I I sympathized with the humans. The second one, I was like, because that bitch was fucking crazy. The, the No, she, she sucked, but that is where Sarah Zawa... Yeah, like, the, me, his, his sacrifice... He, in, he made it... For anybody who hasn't seen these movies, right? You go, Kong Skull Island, they established this hollow earth theory, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. the Hollow Earth theory. So I I know a guy who watched just Godzilla versus Kong, and he was like, "What? They're gonna fucking go to the th- center of the Earth?" Yeah, well, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. But I was like, "Yo, you're fucking." He said, "That's dumb. You they shouldn't do that." And I was like, "They fucking built that for three fucking three movies." The Hollow Earth theory is huge for all of this. Which we'll get to that. We will get to that. I, I would like to discuss that. Um, any thoughts on Godzilla ver- or on uh, Godzilla King of Monsters? I liked the ending of the movie. I liked his uh, atomic blast or whatever it was called. I don't um, like that ever. You don't like the atomic blast? I think it's cool. And how they dis- how they he, explain it, his it, quick tra- his quick travel through the tunnels. Uh, That's under- Hollow Earth. I like yeah. Hollow Earth. I like the entire Hollow Earth theory. Mm-hmm. So, like before you get to Godzilla King of Monsters. You have to acknowledge everything that they establish in Kong Skull Island. So I don't know the characters' names, and I'll look them up right now. It's Dr. Dre. It's the guy who plays Dr. Dre. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And John Goodman. They, are, they believe in the Hollow Earth theory. But no, but so he comes back, and he's an old man, and he's actually fucking Cyborg's dad. Is that supposed to be him? It's him. Absolutely, it's him. It's the it same is. name. Okay. It's, so he's Houston Brooks. So he's Dr. Brooks. And he's the one who has created this hollow earth theory. And, and basically, so, the hollow earth theory is that there's this other... Through portals in the ground, basically, there's this other... Inside the earth, there's, an, there's a livable area where these monsters 
come from, where Kong's from. Where There's right. no justifiable way to have Kong or Godzilla or Mothra or Monster Zero is not because they say Monster Zero is from another planet, basically. Yeah. Yeah, he's an but that's their justification. It's like there's this hollow earth where these titans come from. Mm-hmm. And I love it. I love this theory. I love everything about that idea. Yeah, uh, it was interesting. And um, I guess we can just get right into Godzilla vs. Kong. Just uh, get it. So we're not doing this a movie at a time. We're fucking six years late on one. Like, let's just fucking do it all as a group. Yeah, who cares about structure? Yeah. All right, so the Hollow Earth theory is a big point in. If you've seen Godzilla vs Kong, it's a big point in the movie. It's it is the one point. Even though they've lead, they've led up to it in all three movies or whatever they've talked about it. It is the one point in the movie where you start to go. It, to me, I am fine with giant lizards on the ground and 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 monsters and and whatever. But this is the one that was like, okay, like this seems. It just like goes from, and I understand they're building it and that it makes complete sense it just is such like a a big directional change in the movie that it's like okay we're like sci-fi to like super sci-fi they go they go zero to 100 so the fun fact about and and the biggest thing for me was those um the vehicles that's what to me felt like super sci-fi which the inspiration for those vehicles and how they were like filmed and and what they look like was the back to the future ride in universal Studios. that actually the inspiration Mm -hmm. yeah because as i'm fucking watching this movie i was like i've i yeah i've been on this ride yeah i thought you were going somewhere else with that when you were saying they were going they went super sci-fi i thought you were talking about the part at the end with the mecha godzilla oh i mean yeah i feel like even that was more believable than these ships it was a pretty badass uh, fight scene with it, when, it was. when they were fighting Mechagodzilla. Yeah, it, it was cool. Part of this Hollow Earth is that they go and, and this Hollow Earth is real. This is the 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 part of the movie. The point of the movie, if you haven't seen the movie, is they they believe that they can get to the Hollow Earth if they have Kong lead them there. Yeah, so there. He, so the movie he was, starts he with, from there. He can get there. So the reason. The, the movie starts off with Godzilla attacking and and you're like, what the fuck? He's attacking this, this um, company. And, and immediately you're like, okay, there's a reason why he's attacking. You're not just like, whatever. Um, and it turns out that this company is looking to get to the hollow earth, to get the energy, to build this giant uh, megazoid Godzilla. So but along- also you knew in Godzilla versus Kong when Godzilla and I'm not a big Godzilla guy. And I don't think any of us are, right? Like, we're not Godzilla, like, fanboys. I like them. I like them now. Uh, are, you, are you Godzilla over Kong, though? No. no. No, I like Kong more in this movie. Exactly. So, so like, when, when, the, the, when the movie's titled Godzilla vs. Kong or Kong vs. Godzilla or whatever it is, Godzilla attacks well, something. Well, that was watched, actually a you've question. You've watched the previous two movies. And you know immediately that, like, whatever he's attacking is bad. Yeah. I um, – and you bring it up with, like, you know, the Godzilla and, and getting the lead, you know, whatever it's called. The Godzilla got the lead in the title. To me, personally, Kong versus Godzilla sounds better. But they per- – I think they purposely named it Godzilla versus Kong. And the movie shows that Godzilla is king. Like – He's the alpha. He's the alpha. Godzilla shows up early on in the movie. And so when you see him attack a civilian operation, I don't know what you would call that. A company. company. Yeah, you know as the viewer to be like, all right, well, like, something's wrong with that. Like, God, I've already been established that Godzilla is not a piece of shit. If he's going after that, there's something wrong with that company. Yeah, which we find out, like I said, they they are – the reason why one of the reasons why they go to the hollow earth is to find the energy to power these vehicles to draw energy to make to power this mecha godzilla that it can battle godzilla and kong and anything else that comes to the earth so along the way there's there was this there the first fight between kong and, and actually what i found was really interesting was what what did you guys think about uh shane what did you think about the the skull island enclosure because uh, when the, that scene shows where it's just Kong, I was like, oh, cool. Um, 
you know, Skull Island hasn't changed. I thought it was really cool when he uh, – uh, I forget what he threw. He, he threw a like spear. It's like a spear, it's like it's... right at the top. Like, like he knows that that he's yeah. being watched. Like, I, I thought that was really cool. Yeah, um, and I was like, oh shit! Like they built this enclosure over over Skull Island, and yeah. immediately I'm like, this place has to be fucking huge if it's holding Kong. Um, so anyway, they the, the scientist comes and and the person who's been working with Kong and 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 her daughter or adopted daughter of a civilian there who has a relationship he's she's deaf and has a relationship with kong um which you eventually learn that kong knows sign language uh kong is the emotional heartbeat of this movie he wants to go whereas, back home whereas godzilla godzilla wants to be the alpha kong just wants to be like all right i'm here for me yep so and when he knew that he couldn't get out of there he hawks a tree into the fucking wall yeah, he was angry. You're like, I know what you're doing. I know where I'm at. This is a fucking joke. This is a fraud. Mm -hmm. And it shows on the aircraft carrier. Yeah, so that was what I was trying to get to, is this aircraft carrier. This is probably the only thing in the movie that I don't buy. That that aircraft carrier held him, held Kong, and then when they were fighting and jumping on it, that motherfucking ship should have tipped over and flipped and sunk. No. And, like, they're both on it. They're they're both like jumping on it, jumping on these aircraft carriers, and they just stay up in water. And this is the only thing in the movie that I'm like, that's that's not believable. That is not. There's two giant monsters fighting each other, and that's the two things that I was like, that nope, that's not believable. I don't <laughs> believe that. <laughs> what did what did you guys think of that? I I, I kind of felt the same thing. Like yeah, how much does Kong have to weigh? Like, <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you got him and Godzilla on these fucking aircraft carriers jumping I mean, around. I feel, I feel like a dickhead where we're, we're talking about a movie where a giant lizard fights a giant monkey, and, like, this is what we're <laughs> talking about. Like, like, Kong jumps from one craft. Time out, time out. What was the thing that fucking Shane didn't enjoy? <laughs> the continuity from Star Wars? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, there was something else that was fucking like... Oh, uh, the, the, the oxygen on Titan. How did they breathe? Yes, yeah. Oh, yeah, how did they breathe <laughs> on Titan? And we're like... I bought into this movie, uh, everything. But, like, Kong jumps from one aircraft carrier... Like a trampoline. Like a He's trampoline. Like, boing? I'm and going to go off this one. That it's ship... watching a Crash Bandicoot video game. Yeah, and the ship takes on no water. It doesn't <laughs> even leave, like, a huge footprint. Wait, like, it's record, bullshit. It's bullshit. That, that entire crew, we don't even see. Oh, like, yeah. We only no. know the fucking crew that he was on. He yeah. fucking boings off one fucking ship. Those kids, we don't fucking worry about. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. they're fine. They're alive. No worries. Yeah. Yeah, so... The, Godzilla's under the water just yeah. shooting fucking radioactive energy fucking straight up in the air. Yeah, that, so this is the first confrontation. And I, I, it was great. It really was. It was fun. It was exciting, but I'm just sitting there like, these ships, man, he's jumping from ships. They're both standing on these ships. Like, nah. The one did tip, so I will say that. The one did flip, so I will give it that. It did I flip. loved Kong ripping his fucking restraints off. Yeah, that was cool. Because uh, like, he, could just, just, he could just feel Godzilla coming. And yep, he I got to like, fucking do something. I got it. Yeah. And so, look, I, I, I felt that. You gotta watch. Reasons. You have to watch these movies with like a fast eight mentality. Yeah, which like you, we... you you have to know that like this movie is going to get absolutely unreal. Yeah, I, if you're going into this movie expecting like fucking I don't know fucking what one best picture I don't know Little Women yeah. Little Women vibes like no this is a this is a dumb monster movie that I was so happy that I went and saw in theaters. This was a fantastic movie to see. I, I'm so jealous. I'm so jealous that you saw it in theaters. Yeah. That's it, my thing. It was so worth it. Like the moments where the girl's feeling like the, the vibrations and just like everything. Like what, what, did, you see, what did you see it in RP? Just regular. Just regular. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We, like, uh, it might have been cool in Dolby. Dude, yeah, I, Dolby that's what I was IMAX. thinking. Like, like, I would be all Dolby for Dolby. Dreams. Like, it and was like, fucking, we were just in a normal theater, and it was fucking loud. Could like, you Godzilla. Imagine, but could oh, you imagine man. Dolby, like, when 
Kong is just breathing. Yeah. And you can feel that in your seat. Yeah. So like, like I said, the deaf girl, you could always like the first scene with the deaf girl, you could, and I feel bad just calling her that. I don't know her name. Um, I'll look it up if you want to. It just kept, you just, you, all they did was like, you could hear vibrations. And that first moment where she walks up and you actually see the lower half of Kong and there's no dick or balls, um, which I know you guys did want to talk about where their genitalia is because it's they not. You don't have there. to, but I just want to know like, Godzilla apparently fucked Mothra like a lot. Well, I think she she sprayed her pixie dust on him and impregnated him or whatever. It was like a bee, like he's just fucking a bee. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I, it was really cool to see it in theaters. I just remembered. I love that um, Millie Bobby Brown's friend is the little fat uh, Australian <laughs> guy from Deadpool. Wait, that oh, that awesome. was him. I he's, fucking love him. He's so trying to be. The like Spider Man sidekick. Hmm. The entire movie. It's very obvious he like he's a trope. Yeah. And Let's that be- bothered me to an extent. Which I forgot. I didn't even realize she was it makes sense why she's in it, obviously. But I was just like, Oh, I didn't know she was in this movie. Dude, they uh, they pitched Kyle Chandler as like the lead in this movie. Oh, I could give a fuck about him. But I he was two all right. about him. Back that's off. what this. That's what this movie back did off. good, though. Back off, because he's Friday Night Lights. He is Friday Night Lights. Well, he's not Friday Night Lights in this movie. But here's my that's thing. Like, that's like saying like somebody was like, I don't know, fucking talking shit on Robert Downey Jr. And I was like, let's do little. They didn't use Kyle Chandler at all. No, they did it, and I. That's to be honest. That's what I liked about this movie. There was very little human I focus. I, I said that after I watched it. Like, I don't care about the human story. Like, I just want to see Godzilla and Kong. And that's what they got right because there's not much of the, the human bullshit. Mm-hmm. Like, they start right off with, with them fighting. But Kyle Chandler, just because I'm working from home, was, like, on every daytime talk show. <laughs> Really? You would have thought this guy was fucking having sex with Godzilla <laughs> and Kong. Oh, you would have thought he was Brian Cranston. He would have been exactly. in the entire movie. It was a mo- it was a Brian Cranston. These fucking monster deal. movies, man. They they get and you. Then, they get you. He's not a part of it. Eleven's more part of the story than dude, but the Kong vs. Godzilla. They fight. Uh, then they go to the Hollow Earth. You know, Millie Bobby Brown and her two friends, which is the Australian kid and then this other guy who has like a podcast. Like, who cares about podcast? Um, Bernie Hayes, dude. Bernie Hayes, yeah. Uh, he, they take this this underground fast train from New York or wherever the fuck they were, very, California. Very convenient. To Tokyo. Very convenient. This is like the part of the technology. And I'm like, what the fuck? All right, like, whatever. And then, so they, they go to the, the Hollow Earth, which we've talked about. And then they come out and they fight each other. Uh, Godzilla blasts an atomic... Uh, blast straight through to to the hollow earth which i don't know why he they didn't just ask him to do that before uh to save all this super technology it's like hey godzilla if you could do that just do this for us (laughs) um and then so naturally Kong gets this axe with so there's this i'm I'm kind of skipping around a little bit there's this axe with a godzilla i don't know pete fragment and uh, it lights up, and this is where the electricity, the energy from the Hollow Earth so is. There's a Hollow Earth like energy, and that's what they want. That's use where they to power Mecha Godzilla. Yeah, what's Which that is- company called? Apex. That's where they Apex pulls all this energy from that they're looking for, and that powers the Mecha Godzilla, which is powered from one of Monster Zero's heads, uh, because they, they since they were. A three-headed monster. They connected uh, telekinetic, telekinetically. What is that? It. So if you watch, if you watch, which, which was actually really cool. I if you watch cool. Godzilla, King of the Monsters, at the end of the film, there's a post-credit scene, which mm-hmm. is them getting the head from the monster. Oh yes, that yes. Godzilla had yes. just killed, right? Yep. And so, I forgot about and, that. And so that bill, and that's why, like, I never respected these movies prior to this. And they, they, they build on each other. They, they create a, a world. They create, I'm not going to say it's like Marvel. 
Well, yeah, it's a it's a cinematic un- monster verse. It's a I'm not going to say universe. it's like DC though, because it doesn't suck. So like, I don't know <laughs> what to do. With, like... uh, which we which we we talked about briefly in the beginning, but we didn't really talk again. A monarch is this overarching government agency from Godzilla, Kong, blah blah blah, that deals with these kind of things. That is the overarching. Just think of it like Marvel's Shield. This is their version of Shield. But so Ghidorah, Ghidorah to a is. Degree. Ghidorah is the three-headed monster. That's a yeah. fucking alien. Monster right? zero. Yeah. What's up, Shane? Is Monarch the one that Sarazawa works for? I forget. Yes. Yeah. 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 Who everybody works and, for. And John Goodman. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Godzilla came to the monsters. Ghidorah is the the like the the antagonist in that film, and they keep ahead. They keep ahead of Ghidorah because he's three heads, and that creates uh, something to do basically in. Godzilla versus Kong. Because Ken, who is a fan of the show, never been on the show, but he said to me, he was like, yo, I was like an hour in and I knew that th- there's no way that this movie is about Godzilla and Big Kong. Thing. Yeah, like, no. Like, you can't, they're, they're two good guys. You can't do that. And I was like, well, who's the bad guy? So I won't tell you. I watched it like a couple of days later. He figured it out much earlier than I did. Mecha Godzilla was never in my like register. Yeah, Apex is the bad guy. But Mecha Godzilla for anybody who like you guys are a little bit younger than me. If you know Godzilla at all, Mecha Godzilla was a big deal. Yeah, I I knew it was a thing, but while I'm watching the movie, I honestly forgot. And I wouldn't have expected him to go that way anyway. That's mm-hmm. why I was I was I didn't down. like that. The guy who was in the Ghidorah head was Sirizawa. I was that his son? It was his son. And I was like, fuck that, dude. Like, mm-hmm. he was a fucking hero yeah. in Godzilla King of the Monsters. This dude fucking walks into a fucking radioactivity. He's like fucking basically just punching Godzilla in the nose. Like, yo, oh, yeah, wake so, up, fucking save us. Yeah. While we're on it, this, this Mecha Godzilla, if you were in this universe, would you support this Mecha Godzilla? Mecha Godzilla could take Fuck on, it. it could take on Godzilla or Kong if they decide to turn on the humans and not help. What would you guys do? I, I understand it. I don't, obviously, we're meant to not like it, but if you're living in a situation where there are titans among the world, do you support any titan? Probably not, because I would be scared. I would Shame. be. Scared. No, because they could just snap at any time and just like a human. Like look when when, when when Godzilla and Kong have a grudge match and they fucking level the city. If I live in Des Moines, Iowa, like yeah, you you're not fucking bothered by because you know Godzilla's not yeah. showing up. But Fuck I off, mean, Godzilla, yeah, go have your fun in the coastal cities. Well, I mean, in King of the Monsters, these eggs were starting to hatch everywhere. But also in the original 2014 Godzilla, Muto shows up in. Las Vegas. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Which fucks things out, too. So, uh, let's just get into it. Uh, so, I would probably would understand a government wanting to build that. Do you think they're doing the right thing, now? Let, let me put it that way. Well, if me and Shane are saying that we're, these could snap at any moment, then I'm going to say probably I view that, that I think it's okay to have it if we need it. I think okay to have it if we need it, but like – we don't you know, need it's, it. it's going to eventually get corrupted and they're yeah. just going to use it like in a war or something. I, like. I don't think a private company should have had yeah. it. Like it should have been want... like a United Nations thing or like a bunch of governments had it. That was, that's probably what I would say. Like, is this a government? This is, it should be a global issue. Yeah, that's what but I mean. Yeah, like US is like, all right, this is well, how we're going to deal with these Titans. To be fair, that's the way it is in every single movie that the US government is always. We're not talking Shane, about movies. Shane, talk about the Senate. Come on, you are in the Senate, the US government. Show, tell us about the inside scoop. Like, is this how you guys view things? That you have to be in control? I'm not at liberty to discuss that. <laughs> 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 okay, this is what I kind of meant was that, all right. I'm fine with a Mecha Godzilla being run and controlled. No, I, I want to go back, but I want to go back before Mecha Godzilla. Oh, and I'm if, not fucking if, cool. I'm not cool with a bunch of monsters running around. No. Prior to Mecha Godzilla, 
How do you handle that? I have no idea. I have no idea. I have what, no idea. Like, are you are you pro alpha? Are you pro like? Well, if God kill all of them, like, what do you do in that? God, probably King kill Kong. them all. We're not talking about our sweet baby Kong. We're not. We're talking about the we're Kong boys. One of these things randomly sprouts up. I'd give it about ten minutes before at least four countries are sending nukes its way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Easy, easy. Yeah, but then there's the reverse effect of that. They're just powering it up. <laughs> it's it's an interesting discussion that we will. We, I don't think we'll be able to settle here. But that is, if this was a real life thing, how would we feel? Dude, you I, wake up one morning. This is all I care about. I don't care about anything else. We're going to talk about. I know we're here for the fucking movie conversation. You wake up one morning, and it's you. You live in Philadelphia, like we do. Sorry, Belgium listener, we're not fucking over in the Europe, but not yet. You find it. We're coming. And I would knock on your door if it's the last thing I do. But you find out this fucking freak, fucking like mutated. Don't, dude, don't talk about Shane. You're not a freak, buddy. <laughs> You're not a freak. Just put it this way: I Komodo dragons. Freak me out. Dude, wait. So Say one a of those, bigger Komodo you, dragon. You, you look at the fucking news and a gigantic Komodo dragon is just attacking Mongolia. Yeah, I'm going to say What do you Mongolia. do? What do you do in that situation? Look, <clears throat> I, I wouldn't know what to do. And if we have, you know, animal rights listeners, you, you, I'm you, sorry. You, you jerk yourself off into oblivion, right? <laughs> I think Once I get the planes crashing, yeah, I'm going to jerk <laughs> off. I think my, my biggest problem is that after the first Godzilla, everyone kind of just seems to, like, go on about their life. Mm-hmm. Like, if there's giant monsters that destroy cities, I'm never going to work again. Like, <laughs> right. Shane, fine. but you have to. <laughs> no. We need the Senate no, to. The Senate. No, nothing matters. It's going to be uh, chaos. In this- I agree. I think that there is – that was like my biggest thing with like why I was telling my, my coworker, I was watching it and I was like, I can't help it. But this crosses my, this thought crosses this, these kind of movies, the, the amount of destruction they do to these cities. Like mm-hmm. I want a little thing to pop up that like nobody was harmed during this fight. Like, so like the original guys still, they go to Hawaii, whatever he's at the airport. And I'm like, you know, a giant fucking lizard is fucking floating around. And your airport is still functioning perfectly <laughs> fine. No fucking like warnings at all. I almost, I want it. I want it so bad. I want a fucking Godzilla. I don't know how to fucking no. say this otherwise. No. Yes, I don't want it. Do, do you think Godzilla's gonna fucking float himself up to Delaware and fucking I, crash I, to I, Walt Whitman? I be. want him so far away from Philly. That could be like. The is, if he came near Philadelphia, our water, our Delaware River is so dirty that he would just turn around and. and Gross. <laughs> yuck. Yeah. Imagine, imagine Godzilla poking up in the Schuylkill. <laughs> He's going to be covered in dead bodies and heroin needles. <laughs> <laughs> This episode may never get released. But yeah, I, I don't know. That's I would freak I would the fuck out. Dude, I love these movies. I love these movies, and I didn't know I did until three weeks ago. Yeah, I'm but the same way. I really, I really enjoyed. I'm, I'm really them. glad Bob like told us to watch all of them before watching. But at the same time, like these movies stem yeah. these conversations, which are the funniest, <laughs> dumbest conversations you've ever fucking had. And it's all recorded. I loved how he um, was just eating like handfuls of fish too. Like that was that was so cool. Like I, I and like when he when he killed that dragon thing in the, the Hollow Earth, he's just like sucking the guts out. Like everything about Kong is fucking cool. <laughs> he was slurping the, the intestines. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you're not a Kong guy, then fuck yourself. Yeah. So anyway, we get to the middle. We get to the end of the film. Uh, Godzilla and Kong match up, destroy. I believe it's Tokyo. Japan's fucked. Japan, yeah. all of Japan, in my opinion, is fucked. They are. It's completely destroyed. Um, it looks really Godzilla, cool. Godzilla, they got there for the record. Godzilla does win, and he he yields. He lets they, they don't fight, and then they end up. I did wait. So can Godzilla. we go back? Can we go back? I didn't like the I give up thing. Do you feel like they did King Kong dirty on that or no? I think Godzilla had to win, and without Kong dying, that was the best way to do it. But like to give up, 
it wasn't that he gave up. I mean, he beat no, him. No, he absolutely gave up. Well, he beat him like half to death because they had to do the, they had to blow up the ship on Kong's chest to bring him back. I know, and I liked to text it RP while we were watching this. I said, HBO fucked up. This uh, should have yeah. this should have been the four hour movie. Which, interesting enough, this movie had more views and had re- it did really well at the box office too. But it had more views on HBO Max than the Snyder Cut. But I said, like, other than the Snyder Cut, like this should have had four. I would have watched a Kong Godzilla movie for possibly eight hours. I'm yeah. not even lying. Like I would, I was just in it. Like I just dove in. I didn't care. Yeah. Nothing mattered. Nothing did matter. It, nothing, uh, nothing ever matters, to be honest. Nope. But, like, I was in it. Yeah, I, I, this movie was short. I think it's, like, an hour 54, to be it honest. It was two hours, though. Yeah, but, like, you had credits in there and stuff. So, we're at but, the end of the film. But, like, I didn't, I didn't like that. I didn't like Kong, like, conceding. I didn't like – and I, I get why it happened, which is what you said. Like, he, Godzilla had to win, but, like, Ideally, what would you have liked to have seen? No, neither of those two should ever have to concede to the other. I don't know. As much as I love Kong, it should it should have been. Honestly, they both knocked each other out, but like one's got to be around. They're fighting, and Mechagodzilla shows up while they're fighting. Mm-hmm. The idea of like Kong being like, "I'm dead," which is what happened. Kong died for a second. What do you think, Shane? I, don't know, I, I it's tough because like you don't, you don't really want one of them to, to, to lose to the other one because like they're both the good guy in their own movies. So I, you... I do agree if if like they're fighting and then Mechagodzilla shows up, and uh, like it's when he, when he's not being controlled anymore and it kind of goes haywire, and they're like, all right, forget about this for right now. Let's take this thing down. So they're that's, both alphas. They're both alphas. They have yeah. to do it. So but that's they, what they, I thought was going to happen. Which they I, established Godzilla as the alpha, they, and they but, they but they kind of had to because no, of king of yeah. king of monsters. They all bowed down. All the monsters bowed down to Godzilla. Yeah, but and, Kong was on a fucking separate island. Which I think, to be kind of fair, I kind of see these as two different creatures. Because all of like the monsters, I, I agree with you. God, Kong is different than Godzilla in them. Yeah, to me, Kong is like more ape than like monster. Like where all the monsters in King of Monsters are all no like bullshit, lizard, like, kind of. Kong's more human than anybody else. Yeah, I mean he, he Kong talks. Has, he Kong literally has, talks. Kong, I mean he does, but that's kind of bullshit. I I don't know that I like, but like Kong is. He's sad. He wants to go home. But Kong has feelings. Like, even Kong Skull Island, he's protected. Mm -hmm. Kong is not fucking things up because he's the alpha. He's fucking things up because they shouldn't exist. Those fucking skull creatures or whatever they're called. The skull crushers. Skull Skull, skull skull crawlers. Skull crawlers, yeah. He's fucking them up because he's like, you're fucking bad. Yeah, you're not contributing to this ecosystem. He's a pr- he's a protector. He's a protector. But it's not, he's he is top chain on the ecosystem. But Godzilla, that's why that's why I think Godzilla is, you no, know, regardless, um, the alpha. And I think that's also though a good debate. Like if we went into this movie being like, well, obviously Godzilla is the alpha. Like we wouldn't necessarily care as much because we're curious. Okay, who's going to win? Obviously, at the end of it, you know they're both going to stay alive. They but can't. No, neither of them can lose. Exactly, and to a degree, they didn't because Kong didn't die, but he did yield. And then at the end, they both showed mutual respect, and 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 they left, which is funny to see these two giant lizard versus monkey just be like, "I did like, I respect you." <laughs> I did like when Kong like basically saved Godzilla, like after yeah. he, after the yield. Kong basically saved him, and Godzilla was like, I got you, fam. And, yeah. like, well, I'm going back into the water. So that's kind of how it ends. The movie's over. Uh, and then they cut to what I think was supposed to be the end credit scene, and they decided to keep it in the just as the normal film. And not they, – they said they didn't want to pigeon themselves with what they had to do with an end credit scene to kind of set up a sequel, where Kong is back on Hollow, in Hollow Earth, and so is – uh, Rebecca Hall's character and the child, and I think the other, the other, the, the other doctor too. 
I don't go to these movies for the human element. I go. No, I you see want to see a fucking gigantic monsters. Which this movie, Shane, Shane, how do you describe job. these films? Well, it's Big Monkey, Big Lizard. <laughs> <laughs> I want Big Monkey, Big Lizard. Big Monkey, Big Lizard. Who's gonna win? Um, yeah, that's what we go see these movies for, and that's why but, I think this one got it got right. They got. So it here's my question: right. You can't do Big Monkey, Big Lizard again. What's big next? Monkey, big monkey slash big lizard gets what a film. It's just the whole movie is we're finally going to see how um, Godzilla and Mothra fuck. <laughs> no, I already paid extra for that. Yeah, it's not. It's not as worth it. Yes, yeah, I about. was watching that at first. I think I got the wrong movie because I watched it. I didn't have HBO Max yet, so I was watching it kind of bootleg. It's on fuk fuk <laughs> yeah. dot com. Yeah. yeah, it was. It, it turned out it was. It was just a guy in a in a. Godzilla costume, yeah. fucking somebody in a moth. <laughs> it got we, the job done. We need an HBO Max series, Sex in the City style, mm-hmm. where it's just Godzilla telling his oh tales my about God. banging Mothra. Oh my God, dude. Could you imagine a Sex in the City where like it's Godzilla like writing a diary? Yeah. And he's like, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes in the hollow earth, nobody gets it. <laughs> I, I'd, I'm mon- the- I'd watch it all day. I just want to – sometimes you just want to stick your dick in the hollow yeah. earth. You know, if you <laughs> know what I'm saying. Sometimes you just want to fuck something that's in a fucking cocoon. But What is next? What do we think's next? Just another individual nothing, movies? Nothing is what they said, but at the same time, they movie, said yeah, – Well, it made money. They said, so, like, if this movie does well, there are places to go. Do you lean Godzilla? Do you lean Kong? Well, Kong needs his second movie. So I'd probably say Kong. Because you could, because Kong's in the hollow earth, so you could expand on that. What yeah, you think, I Shane? think you ex- explore the hollow earth. Maybe there's <laughs> some, there's some kind of new big bad they don't know about in do the hollow a, earth. Do you give a fuck about the hollow earth though? Honestly, I do. It was cool, but I I, I don't cool, know but... about it. So it was kind of like Skull Island was cool, and then as they explored Skull Island, like, it was but like, like humans cool. went. So p- humans would have to go to Hollow Earth. Which humans are in Hollow Earth? Yeah, it's just a girl from the town, but she's not Blake Lively, so why would I care? <laughs> <laughs> I like Rebecca Hall, though. Iron Man. I like Rebecca out. Hall, too, but she's not the next, Blake Lively. The next movie, it's, it's, um, I think that's Kong is Kong's in Hollow Earth. They send in Blake Lively, who is a crack whore. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, Hollow Earth. I, I would pay billions of dollars. I would make this money worth it. <laughs> Warner Brothers, I want every movie you've ever made remade with one character being a giant fucking ape. I'd love to see um, A Star is Born with just Kong. He's going to play Lady Gaga. Kong can't He's... die. No, but, no. but Kong, Kong is Bradley Cooper, and when he, when he wow. goes to, to hang himself... It just snaps because he's a giant fucking monkey. <laughs> oh, well, bananas. Well, he goes, guess I need a bigger belt. And then, like, curb your enthusiasm type ending. <laughs> then he just says, this shit is bananas. And that's what we think of all these guys. Round it up. What was your favorite movie in the MonsterVerse? Uh, Bob, starting with you. Skull Island is the best and it stands on its own. Godzilla versus Kong is the most entertaining thing you can watch. I think we all really like this, um, and I think that reflects in the audience scores and in the Rotten Tomatoes scores, which the audience score was 91% on Rotten Tomatoes, critics 75%. Uh, Shane, what do you? what's your favorite? Um, Let me say Kong Skull Island. I, I just – I love John C. Riley. Kong Skull sure. Island has, the, has the, the most funny death scenes. Yeah, there are a lot of good like, death scenes. Everybody, that. Every human that dies in that movie dies in, like, a funny – guy who gets eaten by the pterodactyls and you see his arm chopped off in the sunlight – uh, John Goodman's death, like they're all, there are a lot of good deaths. But the, I would. I was talking about. I forget the guy's name. Where I forget his name. Cole. He's trying Cole to kill. Was his name? Yeah, Cole. And he's holding the grenades, and it just. He's like, oh, he's like sacrificing himself for the yeah, team. Yeah, that's that's Shea Wiggum's character. Yeah, and he just it's fucking. Cole, just, his name. Yeah. Uh, but I, mine would be the same thing. Kong, and then I really like Godzilla versus Kong. Yeah. Um, Audrey watched them all with me. She felt the same way too. What, what, what was that word she was confused about again? So, yeah, so real quick. So we're watching, I think it's Godzilla 2. And Shirazawa, you know, he, he goes, Godzilla. And he says Godzilla just so quick. It's just how he does it. I think a lot of, it's and, and classic Godzilla films, it's the same way. Audra had no idea they were saying Godzilla. And I was like, oh, that's what they're saying. I was like, yeah, what the fuck did you think that they were saying? She's like, Godzilla? 
And I was like, yeah. I was like, Jesus yeah. Christ, the movie's called fucking Godzilla. Are you yeah. serious? Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, you know, that's I think that's all we got to say. We really like the Monsterverse, as you can tell. We can't. I wait love God's... the Monsterverse. I want more, and I don't know if it's gonna happen. So I can... we're gonna get more. Yeah. We're but gonna get miss... more. I don't know that we are. Yeah, but they have a franchise but on their hands. We might not get more monster, but we I'm pretty sure we are getting more Mortal Kombat. So get on that, Bob. Anything to plug before we go, gentlemen? Ted Lasso. RP yep. loves Ted Lasso right now. Ladies and gentlemen, or however you identify, if you have not watched Ted Lasso. Which neither of us have. Venmo me. I will pay your $5 Wait, change, change. to watch Ted Lasso. Anybody <laughs> out there that listens to previously recorded, if you send me your screenshot of, of all 10 episodes watched of Ted Lasso, I will Venmo you the 5 bucks for Apple TV. It's fucking worth it. If you send previously recorded your screenshot of you having watched all 10 episodes of Ted Lasso, I will also pay you money. <laughs> so it's Jason Sudeikis, people out there. If you haven't seen this show, it is wholesome. It is – you you laugh, you cheer. Like, we were literally cheering. So it's it's about a um, American coach – Basically, a he football, football coach. A football coach. He coach. goes to England to coach their version of football, which is soccer. This team called AFC Richmond, and it is so good. It, we were laughing, cheer, like legitimately cheering at the soccer elements of it. Like you fall, I fell in love with this show. We watched it in like a couple days, uh, and can't, season two is coming out in July. It was. I can't say enough good things about it. Honestly, everything I've watched on Apple TV has been really good. So check that out. Um, you watch that Tom Hanks film. When he's uh, like yeah. Uh, but that's that's what I have to plug. I have to plug that. Uh, and then obviously we we have uh, there was a trailer for this podcast on uh, this podcast previously recorded feed. Go check out the Gateway Gamers podcast. It's a new podcast in the previously recorded network with me and uh, guests of the show Marvel on all the time. We're we just discuss board games and stuff. And if you go check out the, our first episode launched last Friday, uh, when this, from when this episode's coming out and our next episode right. will be at the following Friday, uh, from this episode. So it'll be every other week that previously recorded isn't, uh, there'll be a, a, a podcast over there. Go check it out. See if you like it. If you don't, you don't, but check it out. But you will. I'm not on that podcast actually RP. So if I can, if you don't like that podcast, then fuck you. If you don't like that podcast, stay on this podcast because two different – they're completely two different yeah, shows. Yeah, I mean, we're obviously just trying to have a market, but like at the same time, like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> I appreciate that, Bob. Uh, we will have – but both of these guys will be on the show uh, at some point when we find uh, – we get to games that are right up their alley because uh, it's all about me just being introduced to the world of board gaming, which is fucking huge. Uh, but anyway. It's fucking nuts, dude. Yeah, it's crazy. So, Bob, edit, Bob and Shane, anything to plug before we go? I'm big on Invincible on Amazon Prime. I was just going to say, I haven't watched that yet, and I've been meaning to, because I hear good things about it. Yeah, yeah I watched the, the, the first episode, the, and I really, I really like it. The animation is weird. The animation's almost too, it's almost too good. Like they, They'll fly off into the sunset, and you're like, that doesn't look like it's a cartoon anymore. Like It, it messes with your head sometimes. It's very good animation. But it's also like an anime type animation. Invincible is very good. I'm currently about to finish my rewatch of Teen Titans, which I forgot was incredible, dude. Harley Quinn. Oh, so good. Harley Quinn's good. On HBO Max, Harley Quinn's great. Yeah, watch that, Shane. You'll like that. Okay, I'll do that That's next. Fun. I'm on season two of that it's good i'm still on season one but it's fucking so funny yeah all right um i think that's all we got here uh be on the lookout for our falcon and the winter soldier uh episode coming out next uh or maybe before we'll, we'll see what happens but this episode will be out uh remember to rate like and subscribe uh guys it means a lot our ratings mean a lot like i said if, if you don't like what we do talk you know leave us five stars and talk about what we don't like or just talk about how much you love kong and and give us five stars we don't care it really really you helps. love gigantic monkeys just give us a five star rating. remember rate like and subscribe catch us on the social medias um and have a great night guys getting everybody well i'm ready to attack gonna lead the pack gonna get a touchdown gonna show you how that's why put your bomb bombs down getting everybody about a few times been around my track so it's not just gonna happen like that cause it ain't no hollow back girl ain't no hollow back girl few times been around my track so it's not just gonna happen like that cause it ain't no hollow back girl ain't no hollow back girl ooh this my shit this my shit ooh this my shit this my shit Ooh, this my shit
that's right, dude. Meet me at the bleachers. No principals, no student teachers. Both of us wanna be the winner, but there can only be one. So I'm ready to fight, gonna show you all, gonna make you fall, gonna stick it to ya. That's right, I'm the last one standing, and another one bites the dust.